One, season three, thoughts. This is one of my favorite seasons because of one name, Cole. He's basically my favorite character of the entire show. The the demon half part that there's some hope. He's well, some of some are going to find this comparison insulting, but it's not unlike Gollum. There's like there was hope there. He's not all good or all evil, and we see that even in this season, he starts out out to kill the witches, then he knocks out the triad in one quick attempt, and he starts, you know, helping them, helping the witches, and we have this back and forth between is he really evil, can he really be trusted? The season finale is one of the best ones. All hell breaks loose. Right from the very start, from right before the theme kicks in, we realize that people have seen the witches. You know, the secret is out, at least to some extent. And the chaos that would be imagined ensues. You know, there are people who do believe it, there are people who don't believe it, and all of them turn up to protest once they know what house to go to. And we really get a sense of threat of the sisters. And the demon Tempest makes a return, although without any Caradine. And the effect is not unlike the first time he appeared. We have a scene played again with a different conclusion. It's not quite deja vu all over again, but it's also not trying to be. And the final image of the door closing, which is what every season ends on, except for that one where it's a different door, is one of the most memorable. Shax has done his job and he flies back out of the door that he came in. The doors, you know, from the vacuum smash closed, the glass of the windows shatter, and we're left with the almost, almost complete silence just the howling of the wind that is growing ever more distant. And Shax is, of course, played by Balthasar, so can't go wrong there. We have a Western set episode. We have Prue gaining superpowers and enacting, reenacting Matrix fighting scenes. And just in general, the season is a lot of fun.